Well, all right, everybody. It's your boy Hobo here today. Hell in a Cell just ended. Uh, it's 11:20 p.m. Eastern Time, and wow, this show had its peaks and its valleys. And I'm going to tear it apart when we get a little bit later on the show. But let's start off with the 34th Hell in a Cell match ever, which would be Lana coming out to announce her baby boy Rusev, who will fight Roman Reigns. For the United States Championship. Uh, Reigns starts this match off going for a table but gets stopped. Reigns goes and gets a kendo stick later on the match and assaults Rusev. Rusev then gets a chain. Hits the accolade uh, on R- Roman. And uses the chain to inflict massive amounts of damage. But Roman wins with a spear by jumping off of the steel step that was in the ring. A good match. Not as good as Roman's match with Bray Wyatt inside the cell a few years ago, but still solid match. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Kevin Owens says backstage that Seth Rollins won't be able to call himself the man because by the end of the night, he will barely look like one. Then we get Bailey versus Dana Brooke. Bailey wins via the belly to Bailey. Not much here. Uh, yeah. Mick Foley and Stephanie McMahon are talking about Survivor Series when Y2J walks in and says that they should consider... Uh, what the team for Raw should be at Survivor Series. Y2J then puts Mick Foley on the list. Enzo and Cass arrive, and then we get Enzo and Cass versus The Club. The Club wins this match via The Magic Killer. Uh, good match. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was fine. It was good. It was alright. It was cool. I liked it. Fun. Then we get ourselves a little bit of Universal Championship action. Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. Early off in the match, Seth Rollins has himself a table. Kevin Owens sets said table up. Uh, Kevin Owens then, later on in the match, hits the referee with the fire extinguisher. Uh, Jericho gets in the cell after the referees are trying to switch the referee out. And uh, then Jericho locks himself inside the cell. Seth powerbombs Kevin Owens through the two tables that Kevin Owens had set up previously against the cell wall and the ring uh, with a powerbomb, which is a very brutal-looking spot. I love that. Uh, Kevin Owens then proceeds to win with a power bomb through two chairs. So this is looking like TLC inside of a giant ass cage. But yeah, I liked the match. I liked it. It was it was fine. Probably uh, the second best cell match of the night behind the main event. But uh, we'll get to that later. We get the Brian. Ken- oh, actually, before we get to the Brian Kendrick, Seth Rollins gets assaulted after the match by Chris Jericho, and then Jericho leaves. And now we get to the Brian Kendrick versus TJ Perkins for the Cruiserweight Championship. Really fun match. I enjoyed it. Uh, I was watching along with some people who were all telling me it was boring. Actually, I was in a Facebook Live chat with a bunch of people, and everybody was saying that it was boring. And I was like, what are you guys watching? This match is fun. It was fine. I enjoyed it. Uh, Brian Kendrick actually picks up the win with the captain's hook after he feigns an injury. Uh, Fakes the injury, then TJ Perkins comes over to check on him. Brian Kendrick gets the upper hand, locks in Captain's hook, and wins the Cruiserweight Championship. We get Sheamus and Cesaro backstage bantering back and forth between each other. And then the New Day come out, cut their little promo. Sheamus and Cesaro arrive. Xavier and Big E start the match against uh, Sheamus and Cesaro for the Tag Team Championships. Kofi ends up causing the disqualification by hitting Trouble in Paradise on Sheamus on the outside. So that's their cop-out way of you know, not being able to take the titles off of the New Day until we get to the record, um, which I'm fine with. It's okay. And now we get Sasha Banks versus Charlotte in the Hell in a Cell, the most anticipated match of the night for many people, for me uh, especially. Before the match starts, Charlotte attacks Sasha. They roll outside of the cell, which was lowering, and into the crowd, they come back out. Sasha is taking out or taking apart the announcer table. They start climbing the cell wall. Charlotte powerbombs Sasha through the table. And then we get the whole long, drawn-out spot of Sasha having to get stretchered out. And they're about to announce Charlotte as champion. And Sasha fights back and gets back in the ring. And the match starts. So Charlotte almost won via forfeit. But Sasha super at her way back into the match. Uh, Charlotte gets a chair. Um, I'm just going to throw this out here. Sasha Banks did a really scary looking dive to the wall. Stop doing dives. How many times do we need to say this before somebody dies or breaks their neck? 
Stop doing them, please. So uh, Charlotte gets a table. They uh, they do something with that table. I forget. Sasha gets another table. Forget what they did with that table. Um, actually, the one table botched kind of. Uh, Sasha kicked Charlotte down off of the apron, and she kind of fell through the table, and it didn't really break all the way, but it kind of broke. Uh, the second table was up in the corner in the ring, and that played into the finish. Charlotte was about to get power bombed through the table before Sasha's back gave out. Charlotte then threw Sasha at the table twice before hitting natural selection and pinning Sasha to become your new Raw Women's Champion. I ended up saying in my notes, WTF ending, which is precise, why do you do this constantly with Sasha Banks? I don't get how people get behind her. She is a loser when it comes to the big stage. I don't remember the last pay-per-view match she won. Was it Battleground? I think it was Battleground in the tag team match. Did they even win that? Hell, I don't know. They probably didn't. Sasha and Bailey versus uh, Charlotte and Dana Brooke. I don't know. But damn, it's been forever. But when was the last time Sasha won a one-on-one match on pay-per-view? I don't think she might ever have won a one-on-one match on pay-per-view. It's ridiculous. I hate the way that they book her. They book her to be a loser. But she wins on Monday night, but she can't win on Sunday night. The booking is completely ass backwards when it comes to Sasha Banks. She's in her hometown. Give her the big win. Give her the big win in front of her hometown fans. Just do it. Just do it. There's nothing wrong with it. Charlotte does not need to be a three-time women's champion at this point. All of Sasha's reigns have been short and disappointing. And at the rate we're going, we're going to end up calling Sasha's career short and disappointing. Because that is just the way that they've been booking her. They put the ball with Charlotte. And okay, she has a, she has a, a good, lengthy title run. Then she loses. And then she gets a title back. And it was short and disappointing. And that's all this feud has been between these two. It's short and disappointing. The feud itself has been long, but the title reigns have been short. The feud so far, to me, with the inclusion of this match, has been disappointing. They've ruined any sort of heat this feud had with this decision right here to put Charlotte over Sasha in the main event. There's no need for it. Charlotte should not need to win this Hell in a Cell. It's, it just doesn't make any sense. Sasha Banks is the home. I know that they love to do. They never let hometown people win. It was evidence last week when they were in Minnesota and Bo Dallas got destroyed, or Bo Dallas destroyed the hometown hero, Curtis Axel, in two minutes. But I understand that. That's a completely different situation than on pay per view. You let her have the CM Punk treatment from Money in the Bank. Give her the cute, the biggest win of her career in front of her friends and her family in her hometown. Just let it happen. It was the biggest match of both of these women's career. Without a doubt, it'll go down as the biggest match of their career no matter what happens for the rest of their career. This Hell in a Cell match is the biggest match in the history of women's wrestling. And they screwed it up. Now, I did make a quick little check to WWE's Facebook page. I looked at some of the Sasha Charlotte video clips, and everybody's telling me the exact same thing. There's no need to put the title on Charlotte. Sasha should have won, and they are not doing the right thing by having Sasha lose all of these big-time matches. There's no reason why anybody should be in Sasha Banks' corner. She is a loser on pay-per-view. She's just a loser. She cannot win big matches. And no one should be able to get behind her. And I've made my point abundantly clear that the main event was screwed up. It was a great match ruined by a terrible finish. And that's all I have to say about Hell in a Cell. It was a good show. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, they could have done better. The finish of the main event really, uh, really tainted what would have been an 8 out of 10 show. If they had just gone... And done what they don't do for whatever reason, and put the belt with and, and, and let the champion retain. But that's whatever. I'm already hot about it. I just want to calm down, uh, drink some water, 
and go to bed. Because I got school in the morning. And then I got to go watch Raw for three hours. So my life sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me. Boy, oh boy, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Hell in a Cell review more than I enjoyed watching the finish to the main event. Uh, so that's going to do it for me, you boy hobo. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to please leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button and comment uh, down below as well. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, most importantly, to show your support for the channel and spread the channel around to all your friends and family and neighbors. Make sure everybody knows about the channel because we're trying to grow at an exponential rate. So thank you all for watching again. And this is going to do it for me, your boy Hobo. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.